All right, hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update on the Fab Totem. So far, it's working pretty well. Um, I've had a couple frustrating things, which I'll go over in a bit. But um, right now, I'm actually printing the bottom half of a filament spool. Um, I bought two one pound filament uh, reels, and they're too wide. If you buy the one pounders, they're too wide to fit in the side. So as you can see, I got the side off. I got one side on the tracks and the other side's being held up by this little magnetic thing. Um, so uh, I went through, uh, oh, and then the other side, you can see I have the cover off. So this is all the, all the guts of the thing. Um, I went through all the white uh, filament that they uh, provide. And so I went to this other filament that I've got, which is really dimensionally stable. It's like 1.7 1.7 three something like that um, and for some reason I started having issues with the uh, the the extruder motor or the the feed motor for the extruder like stripping uh, on the, the filament so I messed with it for quite a while it doesn't look like it's adjustable so there's no real way to tighten it um, so I kind of went back and forth and messed with some stuff in Slicer and I've got it printing okay but there are still some times where it cuts out and I haven't really figured it out. Um, I don't know. I think one of my suspicions is that it's sort of due, it's partially due to the fact that there's no good way to calibrate the bed exactly so it's a little bit higher on this side still than that side even though I keep kind of messing with it. I've got it real close but it's not perfect. So I think once it gets over to this side what might happen is it may either contact on the lowest layer or it's so close that it's just creating a lot of resistance um, and then that's causing the uh, um, that's causing the, the the filament and the cable to kind of jam up and then the uh, extruder motor to find up so it happened once on this print but it recovered pretty well so uh, anyway but as you can see it's printing I mean this thing is 190 millimeters in diameter so it's just about the whole bed of the fab and it works pretty well. Um, really looking forward to the, the bed uh, alignment tool once they get that in the fab UI. But anyway, so uh, I'll do another video with the finished part of this just so you guys can see how it works. But as you can see, it's doing pretty good. So, talk to you later.